Here's, here's a little bit more of the confrontation between Romney and AP reporter Glenn Jones. Listen to my words. What? Listen to my words. I that's said, not semantics. So running your campaign that and is giving a word. advice? Come on. He's on the plane. Hey, Glenn, save your arguments for, for He approaches me, Eric, okay? okay? Let's let's talk. Let's you and I talk. I'll be glad to talk. Anytime. I mean, David, it does seem that, you know, this reporter is it's not just trying to get the truth. He seems really angry at Romney. Well, look, maybe he had a bad day, maybe the Romney <laughs> campaign didn't feed them today, or whatever the reason was. But in any case, no, we, as reporters, we should be adversarial. Our job is not to be the candidate's friend or a there stenographer to, to say whatever the, the campaign rude. wants us to say. And provocative. Yeah, but he knew and what he, he was talking about. Story. He was right, Rachel. The reporter was absolutely right today. What was absolutely. he supposed to do? Was he supposed to say, oh, I'm sorry, he Governor could Romney, but say, I'm right, me, you're Governor wrong. Romney, but rather than saying, that's not right, that's not true. Here, here's what here, here's here's Romney's spokesperson walks over to the reporter and goes after him. Professionally, yeah, being he argumentative with the candidate. No, he shouldn't right, stand there and tell a total falsehood. Oh, oh, so, so now he's now he's now he's telling total falsehood. Save, save, your save, your save your opinions. Save your opinions. Opinion. It's a document. Save your opinions. Fact. Save your opinions. And act professionally. Act professionally. Don't be argumentative with the candidate. Oh. There should be a question mark on our lower third there, but is, I don't know if they're doing it for Come drama. On. Don't be argumentative with the candidate. Don't be argumentative. What, is, what does Mitt Romney think is going to happen to him when he becomes president, that all the world leaders are going to be nice and respectful? If he and his, can, and his campaign have a problem with reporters being rude, what does he think is going to happen when he's sitting in the Is this happening a lot, office? David? It's on, insanity. On the trail, is this happening a lot? It's happening a, 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 on occasion, but I would draw a distinction, Dan, between a reporter who knows like, what he's talking about, like the reporter today, and a buffoon and jerk like Bill O'Reilly, who pushed over, oh, tried yeah. to push over a guy to get out, get out of the way of Barack Obama. And then, what does he ask Barack Obama? Is it some insightful, hard-penetrating question? No, he says, will you be on my show? Yeah. That <laughs> is where you can draw the line. If a reporter is lazy and is silly no. and is aggressive, that's a problem. But when a reporter knows what he or she is talking about, I have no I problem whatsoever with that reporter And then it's okay for them to be aggressive? aggressive. I'm, my point went to behavior. You know, if, if the facts are great, and I think that if you have the facts, that should be enough. You shouldn't. David Schuster, and Rachel Sklar. Thanks a lot, David. Rachel, keep up. our job is not to be friends with these people. Keep if we up. don't ask the tough questions, who is going to ask the tough questions? They're great at work. All right. Coming up.